Bob doesn't want to wear his hard hat because he thinks it looks stupid and that we're just out here playing. Uh, and, and a lot of you guys are missing the crew as much as I am. And so I have a solution to both of these problems, Bob, if you're up for it. Hey, how about this? Crazy Bob? Hey, what do you think? Yeah, you like it? Maybe we should give you a trim. I know what's missing. I told you, Bob, if you're gonna work here, you gotta get yourself a goddamn haircut. That's looking much better. Anybody got a bowl? Damn, Bob, you're gonna have to call me Vidal Sassoon. There's your hard hat, buddy. You look more like a foreman now than you ever have. Uh, I'd give you a bogger tattoo, but let's just get back to work. bulldoze the rest of it into a pad. So that white Komatsu loader, it can move a lot of dirt when it's paired with that Volvo. Look at, you can see, I've been working this place for like an hour and a half. Look at the amount of tire tracks back and forth across the site. Now we're getting down to where I just wanna start up the dozer. We'll get the dozer down here and start leveling this out and uh, we'll start making it into a flatter pad. On more than one occasion have I seen a mine owner have to run every piece of equipment themselves. I've dug the hole for the pond as deep as I am in debt for YouTube Gold.
Well, that's looking about as flat as I'm gonna get this area, so we're gonna move on. Everything is uh, basically flattened right out, so I'm glad to see that, move that out. Now we gotta move this board out of the way. I was using it to walk back and forth across the mine site, uh, just to make it a little bit easier for me. Uh, but now we can remove the board. It's quite long, it's very heavy. I don't know if the loader's gonna pull it because it is a two by six. Uh, and it's uh, been sitting around a long time, so we'll wrap a chain around it and see if we can lug it out. Very funny, Bob, but if people see you holding the rake, they're going to think that I cheated out here. Okay, let's get the rock truck out of here so I can dig out the, the plank. I know a lot of people come here for the beer and camaraderie, and uh, it's different right now, of course, with everything going on. And uh, for all the guys that couldn't be here because of the pandemic, this one's for you. Is this what you do when they can't be here? Only if they're dead? No, they're fine. Yes, and after all these months, we finally get the Cabelco or Cobbleco or whatever you want to call it, ready to dig at the mine site. I got to dig out the uh, wood uh, so we can start pulling on it. What a nice excavator. Here we go. Might as well just stick it off to the side here. We gotta dig this out anyway. come from <laughs> the curse of YouTube gold weather it's okay I'm gonna get the chain in and around now that it's dug out and start dragging this whole thing out of here okay thankfully there are hitch points on this plank already I have a pin on the back of the loader where I can hook it into so the chain is there start up the loader and just kind of inch it forward shut the Volvo off this has the potential to go so horribly wrong the wood is much long or much heavier. In fact, I almost should have had a full scoop full there, but let's go ahead and just inch it forward. See how it feels. Start dragging it. It's when it falls and flips up that I'm a little bit concerned, but if I've got enough pull and traction, it should pull it up evenly. Yes. Oh, there's the problem point. Look at that. No problem at all. Oh, there it is. There's the struggle. Come on, just keep at it. Pull to the side as long as we get some traction. Yeah, come on, baby. Look at that. Unlocked and away it goes. Perfect. Just unbelievable power out of that little loader there. Unlocked differentials and all, able to pull that two by six. It was hung up on the retaining wall that's collapsing. Uh, because like I said, I dug this much deeper. Now you can really see in here, there is a dividing wall and then a two stage pond over here where it's deep and then even deeper over there and it goes all the way up the wall. This is so we can have plenty of water to go up to the two wash plants that we have here. Uh, this is our shaker plant that normally has a four foot sluice run in there. And then of course, Little Red that has the dual sluice run with the, uh, the one final uh, sluice that goes into the tailings pond here. The tailings pond uh, actually collects all the dirt and then it has a pipe at the top that runs down. We constructed this in season two that puts all the water back in here. But with the two-stage pond, I want to make sure these pumps have plenty of clean water to pump up and I want to have a chance for the sediment to actually settle in there uh, and these pumps can actually run up here. So I'm going to dig all this out so I can shore this up, but I don't think this little Cabelco is going to be able to do it. I'm going to have to bring in my, my heavier uh, machine. Oh yeah, the big guns. I could almost use an even larger excavator than this one. The loader has been left idling. Someone's going to call penalty for sure. Yeah, let's start digging this out. 
get the Volvo in here too. Start up the Volvo, turn off the Volvo, start up the Volvo, make up your mind. We got so much to dig, this is gonna take me forever. Feeling bad for the guys because they spent all season on loading kings, getting ready for gold, and here I am having to dig without them. Nice, I got a text from the guys. Nice to see you finally doing something around the mine site. Holy cow, it's been a, a ton of digging. But well worth it to get this shored up. It's been a problem for us since last season. And it's just been getting progressively worse. And I need a bigger excavator. So the entire wall is now excavated, uh, able to get that in there. You can see it's quite in depth, uh, and now I'll be able to reinforce this whole wall, but I gotta cut some new stakes first. Okay, let's start up the dozer. <clears throat> Gonna try to cinch up with that line before I start pulling. Let's get that hydraulic pump moving. Really kind of hook that wire and let's just give her. Cinching it up. Come on, baby. Yeah, look at it all. <laughs> There's a ton and it just doesn't even bother it. 65 pounds of pull right there. Yeah, look at it all. <laughs> There's a ton and it's just, it doesn't even bother it. 65 pounds of pull right there. Okay, after a lot more digging on the other side, uh, the retaining wall is set to come out. This time we'll use the wheel loader. Ready to rock. Same thing, I'm just gonna hook it up to the pin. I expect this will have plenty of power to pull it out, but we'll see. Okay, three, two. Oh, that's a big pull. Let's go off, angle it. Let's try to back it up. I'll also angle it out. Oh, it wants to pull.
Shout out to Sluice Fox Steve. Last time I was working on this retaining wall was with you, buddy, long time ago. Try to grab that piece down low that I was not able to get with the loader. Oh. Come on, you're better than that. There it is. So deep in the pit, pretty much now just finished sculpting exactly the way I wanted this to look. I wanted it to angle backwards just a little bit. Uh, so when I put the wall in, the earth, when it wants to push forward, will be able to push against the spikes and supporting rails uh, and it won't push the retaining wall forward so early. Look at that, absolutely perfect. Okay, so you guys hold on to that side. We're looking at eight feet. And I'm going to need three boards. Number one, piece number two, Some things are better done by hand. Ah. My puny arms are so weak. Okay, got the corner piece in and now a little bit of caution tape uh, will be good to go. I gotta backfill it a little bit and uh, I think we're gonna wrap it for the day. my friends what a day of digging 
but slightly on the incline, like it's bending backwards and uh, all filled in. I'll probably flip, put in a few more stakes and uh, really secure it. But uh, I guess like we always say on YouTube Gold, shut her down! Even though there's nothing to shut down other than my bulldozer right here. Alrighty, Bob, another episode of YTG 2020 in the bag. Although I don't know if this actually qualifies, that'll be up to the people to decide. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I did the math on the amount of beer that was actually consumed today uh, compared to the amount of gold that we actually recovered. And for the first time in the first, out of any season, out of any episode, we are actually already making money. We got money in the bag and we haven't even seen gold in the pan yet. Uh, so gold is coming. I got to shore up that uh, wall later this week. I'm sure Bob will give me a hand with that. Uh, looking forward to hopefully one day getting the guys back here as a team uh, because otherwise this would just simply be crazy, right? Now I can't be crazy because you're the crazy one or else I'd just be some guy in the middle of nowhere talking to a dummy for no reason. But that is why you are the foreman. And by the way, you are on my foot. Thank you very much. Uh, guys, we'll see you. That's why you wear hard hats. Here, check it out. This can tantalize you. Last year, I ended up getting a shaker table from 911 Metallurgis, and uh, it was a white table. I had a very difficult time filming the gold uh, because of the exposure, but check it out. I painted it in an olive drab green. This is going to be helpful in a non-reflective paint to find gold floating across the table. So make sure you stay tuned to YouTube Gold, folks, and we'll see you in the next episode.